It's Slimer himself. Hello. Hi there guys and welcome back to Tracy's Top Toys. And today you've joined me in the heart of the English countryside, outside a castle. It's a very, very old castle, over 500 years old. And it's no ordinary castle. Look who lives here. It's Slimer himself. And he likes to appear in all different places. Now that's scary. OK, let's take a break from Slimer and take a look at my top five Ghostbuster toys. All of these five toys are rare and vintage from the original Ghostbusters. So in fifth place is a vintage Frankenstein. Look at his large boots. Let's turn him around and see what he looks like from the back. Very cool. But what can he do? If we lift his arms up, <laughs> he looks amazing. And he can hold that pose. What kind of soft drink? Cool. So my fourth favourite in our top five is fierce and flush. Who would want to use this toilet with all the nasties going on? Now guys, here is my third favourite vintage Ghostbusters toy. It's the Hunchback of Notre Dame and he has a chain which is a noose. That's just I'm scary. A bad boy. And look, look at his hunch. I'm a bad boy. And look what happens when I move his arms, it's guys. Up. It's up. Now that's scary. It's up. And here comes my second favourite vintage Ghostbuster toy. It's our law enforcement officer going about his daily heroic business of enforcing the law. But there's nothing heroic about this police officer. Are you ready, boys and girls? Don't get scared now. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. So now then, boys and girls, we've reached the time where I reveal my most favorite vintage Ghostbuster toy. Can you guess which one it is? It's of course our scary granny! I love her so much, I have two! Twins! Gotcha! Gotcha! Happy Halloween! Be sure to let me know in the comments below guys which is your favourite vintage Ghostbuster toy. Be sure to like this video, also subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss out on any of the toy fun. Thanks guys for staying to the end, this is a sneak peek of what we're going to have in our next episode. It's a brain blast of ghosts from the real Ghostbusters. So be sure to check it out.